Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about AC Milan's midfielder Frank Kessie because man, let me tell you, there is some big news. Barcelona, yes, have made their second signing for next season and that is going to be Kessie. And then later in the video, we're also going to be talking about Dembele's potential contract renewal. And yes, Barcelona might actually go for a second meeting with the agent of Dembele and reassess the situation of this player to see if Dembele does have a future with Barcelona. All of this is going to be discussed within today's video but before we go into any of that i do want to shout out the best football app on the planet and that is the one football app the one football app it is the most reliable up-to-date football app that you could find within the app store if you do want to find out what's currently going on with for example frank kessie and the contract situation and what he could provide for fc barcelona all of those details is going to be within the one football app if you guys do also want to follow a specific player that you do like or a specific team you can also follow those teams Teams or those players within the one football app it's a very easy process to download the one football app the only thing that you do have to do is scan the qr code that you do see here on the screen with your camera on the phone or if not if you do not have a camera you can also click on the link that will be provided down in the description box down below it'll take you straight to the app store then you can download the one football app and then you'll be set and done from there again it's the best reliable up-to-date football app and the best thing from all of this is that it is for free but now let's get back into into the video. So, like I've said, Kessie will sign with FC Barcelona. It is 99% done that he will be a Barcelona player. It does say here, according to Fabrizio Romano, Frank Kessie will go to Barcelona. Kessie's contract will be for a total of four seasons and he will sign until June 2026. He will earn a salary of 6.5 million euros plus variables per season. The medical test has also already been done. So, if you guys do not know who Frank Kessie is and you guys are watching me for the first time, just to give you guys a brief reminder, Frank Kessie is a 25 year old defensive midfielder or a attacking midfielder sometimes he does play within that position he is from ivory coast and does play for ac milan now one of the reasons on why barcelona wanted to buy this player it is because many reports have suggested that barcelona do see this player as someone different someone that xavi currently does not have within his midfield options which is very true kessie does provide a lot of stamina within the midfield he's very physical he is very different to what sergio busquets is and when you look at him play he really does remind you of what Yaya Toure used to be 10 to 11 years ago in terms of how he defended against other oppositions. And so it is so great to know that yes, Xavi does want to have different options within the midfield. It cannot just be Busquets 99% of the time. Now, one of the main reasons on why Kessie is also coming here for the next season, it is because of this. And we have talked about this so many times. Xavi does want to have a very competitive squad. He wants these players to feel like they do not have a secure spot within the starting 11. Kessie is going to come in here and compete with Busquets Busquets and compete with Nico Gonzalez and that is only going to make Busquets and Nico Gonzalez react okay how can I do better how can I defend better how can I match what Kessie does bring on the field it's a very healthy competition this is what Xavi does want because that is only going to make Barcelona even better now there is also a potential thing that could happen in this summer and that is this when Kessie does come to Barcelona and we have Kessie, Busquets, Nico, Gavi, Pedri, Frankie that might potentially push out someone like Ricky Puj because right now even today there is no signs of Ricky Puj receiving a lot of minutes and the only thing that guess he's going to be doing when he comes over here is push Nico into a interior role with Frankie, Pedri and Gavi and then reduce the minutes of Ricky Puj even more. So we do need to watch out for that and what Ricky Puj is going to do next within this summer. But overall when it comes to Kessie becoming a Barcelona player this is a great signing. He is going to be needed during different phases of the game and now we are just in a waiting game. Let's just see how Kessie does perform for these next two or three months. Get to know this player and how he performs with AC Milan because because right now his situation with the club is great. AC Milan is in first place and they have to keep and maintain that first place because if they do and they end up winning the league in Italy, that would be the first time AC Milan wins the league since 2011. And the fact that Gessi could leave AC Milan winning the league after a very long time, he's going to be leaving with a great feeling. Everybody is going to be happy. The fans are going to be happy. The players are going to be happy. The club is going to be happy. And it's going to be a very great farewell. But now let's transition towards Dembele. Because because yes, there has been discussions about his renewal. Why? That is because his level has been so high as of late. Like what's currently going on between Dembele and Barcelona is humongous because he is contributing in terms of the goals and the assist. And the only reason why Barcelona have been able to score a lot of goals, that is because of him. It is because of Dembele. So we're no longer seeing a Dembele that just brings out great dribbles and we're like, okay, look, he could potentially become this player. Like look at how he took down two or three players, but ends up like not scoring a goal or bringing assist. 
now we're seeing a player right from Dembele where he actually does bring goals where he actually does bring the assist he's becoming a great playmaker and he is only going to get better like in the past eight games that we have played since Valencia he has scored a total of one goal and provided a total of seven assists so we are seeing the best version of Dembele since he did sign back in the summer of 2017 and I have said this before and you guys know this I've said this so many times every time Dembele came out with bringing out two assists or scoring a goal I always said you better bet that there are going to be negotiations after this you better bet that there will be a discussion a different meeting a second meeting with Dembele and potentially him renewing with Barcelona because it does say here according to sources in Spain it is not yet ruled out that Barcelona could make another renewal offer for Dembele based on his performances now what does that mean it basically means that Barcelona might actually give Dembele and the agent a stronger offer and that is only because of what he has been doing on the field and then it does see here Rafa Juste did actually talk to Cat Radio a few hours ago and this is what Rafa Juste did say and by the way this is the vice president of FC Barcelona and I quote if Dembele continues to feel comfortable we can meet his agents and he could stay now I know that does seem very unclear on what Rafa Juste is actually trying to say but in my opinion just going based off what we have been hearing from the other reports I do think that what Barcelona is currently thinking in the boardroom is this if Dembele continues to perform like this bring two assists in one game bring two goals in one game bring a goal and assist in one game we are going to be having another meeting and what we're going to be aiming within that meeting is to find a deal with the agent and with the player because we want to keep Dembele for the long term now is this going to give Barcelona a bad image if they end up renewing for Dembele does it look like we're being hell-bent on this player no I don't think so that is only because the situation is now different Dembele is part and a pillar of Xavi's project Xavi needs this player Xavi knows exactly what he wants to do with this player everything that Xavi has been saying and I remember about four or five months ago when he first became the coach of Barcelona he said he's going to teach Dembele how to be a proper winger in Barcelona and what have we been seeing exactly what Xavi has been saying this man here Xavi has a plan with Dembele and we cannot take that away from him and so there is a positive feeling when it comes to his renewal because of the amount of wins that has been accumulated with this player the only thing that is going to be very important though if we end up renewing Dembele and we give Dembele a stronger offer right not necessarily like 40 million 30 million euros a season but a stronger offer to the point where the agent and Dembele can say yes we just have to keep this player very disciplined because the moment right and the last thing I do want to see is lend Dembele the contract a stronger offer right and he ends up losing focus because he has all this money he can now finally relax he's not too competitive anymore I just do not want to see that like we yes let's give this player a contract renewal but let's keep this player focused and continue to make this player even better my prediction for this summer is going to be this I do think that this player will stay at the club I really do think so because of how happy he is because of how motivated he does look we look at a video that was recorded during the game between Barcelona and Real Madrid when Barcelona were winning 4-0 you can see Piquet trying to pump up the other players you can see Araujo trying to motivate the other players around him and then you can also see Dembele trying to motivate and pump up all of his teammates and this was after Barcelona were winning 4-0 so you can see not only is this young Frenchman star bringing in results but he is sort of acting like a captain trying to help his players his teammates he wants to be one of the leaders and that is a great thing to see I strongly believe that this player will renew and he will be here for at the very least another three to four years and many of us cannot wait for that moment but that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and I will see you guys in the next video